Okay, and we're back. Don't you love it? Just all these sound effects. Man, all my memories are just pouring in. Christmas and fucking, you know, having friends over and stuff. You want to know a fun fact, by the way, to anyone that, I mean, you know, lots of you guys are just going to be like, what the fuck is this guy even talking about? But one thing that a lot of people may not have known, but you know how back in the day, like the with the 64, you could get... Man, the view distance is... But you know how back in the day, the N64 games, like would have different types of cartridges, like for example, our Korean of Time would have like a gold cartridge and then afterwards there was the gray ones. Well, basically the way that that worked is the gold cartridge would be like an older version of the game than the one that was actually released. I don't know if I go in there just yet. Yeah, I don't know if I go in there. And anyway, so there was a black cartridge for Turok. And one thing that a lot of people never knew about that I still even to this day can't even really find is that if you would distress beacon activated man that's just so cool if you would put in the black cartridge put on the cheat codes go into a multiplayer map as you know all those crazy ass characters oh okay so I do take this portal you could go down into the cheat section, go to level select, and you could actually choose single player levels while playing multiplayer. So you could essentially be playing this game four player co-op. You know, there's a lot of areas that didn't work properly, like whenever you get to the end of the level and it would have to play a cutscene and stuff, the game would just kind of stop right there. I forget if it froze or if it just stopped playing, I don't know. But the fact is, you could do it. Like, you could be in this section right now, you know, fighting AI enemies with your friends. And yeah, it was a glitch because all the other versions afterwards that, you know, the, the good old gray cartridge, those ones didn't actually have that anymore. So, oh, nice, we found that. So yeah, fun fact for any of you guys that that uh, that played that game. I mean, I'm I'm sure there's at least someone else out there that actually got to do that. One of the most epic things was doing the boss fights and stuff. So anyway, we're gonna. Okay, that just looks like more added health. I think you can. Yeah, that's right. Hell's yeah, bitch. Up, oh, hip, heat. Oh, secrets. Gotta love these old games, man. Gotta love them. We're at 88. What happens when we get to 99? Same thing as in Mario in any old game. You get an extra man. One up. Look at this. Look at that. It's AI. This is one of the first games to have it. This is awesome. Okay. Come here. There's going to be a raptor. Yep. Whoa. He is fast. Bang. That guy survived. Man, you'll see later too. For anyone that's actually like checking this out, that's new to it. I mean, I doubt anyone would be checking this out if they didn't play it in their childhood. But you know, there's, there's. Whoa, whoa! Get, get out of here! Oh, jeez! How did I forget that? But there is some crazy weapons, and one of the things that even games nowadays don't even do, which I just, I, that's one of the best things I love about this game. Is when you start getting into all the other weapons, like, there is pretty much a unique death animation for every enemy in the game based on what weapons you have, you know, and like certain spots that you'll hit them and stuff. Like, oh, I guess that's because I have the auto aim. Shotgun. Okay, okay. Like, you can, you know, those big green guys, you can blow them in half and everything. I don't know what that gear is supposed to symbolize. Like, what did I open? I think this is a save point. Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Let's see. Health and ammo? Are you kidding? Ammo granted. It, oh, man! 
Are you kidding me? Game saved. I I like this game. I love this game. Watch this. Come here, bitch. Oh, see? See? That's what I'm talking about. I blew him in half. Jeez. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, he's self-destructing. Jeez. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I could have jumped off the bridge and gotten that. But, oh my goodness. Games do not do this anymore. Ah! Get out of my face. This is before Ragdoll, son. I don't need ammo because I got to restore it all. Hey, get out of my face. This shotgun's pretty damn tough. I'm running low on ammo, though. I am not getting used on there. Don't worry, I'm not that crazy. Hey. He. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. See, so the first, since this is the first episode, I'm gonna be lenient. But stuff like that, where I'm missing jumps and stuff, that's like I'm probably gonna edit stuff like that out. Oh, what you got? What you got? What you got? I know there's one behind me, but dance, dance, do the dino dance. Oh yeah, baby. Child rescued. Thank you, Tirak. You're welcome, little child. You are free. Oh, fuck. Yeah, stuff like that I'm definitely going to start adding out. Just because it's, like, pointless. And, you know, like, backtracking. And, you know, unless, like, stuff comes up. I know I said I was going to be more lenient. But, I mean, I've been, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to play this game. And as soon as the Let's Play started coming into my mind, I started thinking, you know, what a great opportunity to be able to experience this game all over again. Oh, oh, what you got? What you got, punk? Yeah! Oh, I almost fell off the edge there. All right, we're gonna save now. Is this saving a billion files? I wonder. Oh, I know. Oh, man. See, and you can't really see it. See that bird? Like, that's the cool... You can shoot it. I'm just no good at it anymore. But, I mean, that's the thing about these old games. Like, you can just... Just... Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Let's have a bath together. Mm. Oh, yeah. We gotta clean off all that dinosaur blood. Let's have some, let's have some tea. Let's play some cards. Hey, ammo clip. Good. But I just, oh man, there's a secret wall behind that thing. Oh, this game. I am Pura. Yes, you fucking are. Hells yeah. Oh. Oh man, one thing I am not stoked for is when I get to the Primogen he is one tough son of a bitch. Oh man, here it is. Here it is. We gotta be able to get in here later. Surprise! Because when we get in there. Oh, never mind. Later. What am I talking about? The switch is right here. Oh man. Oh man. These warp portals eventually start becoming really cool places. This is a talisman chamber, a holy place that evil cannot enter. Activating the warp portals opens gateways to these ancient sanctuaries. Your quest will require you to locate five sacred talismans. The talismans will grant you immunity from certain types of danger and allow you access to new areas that must be explored. The spirits that watch over these chambers will require an offering of a mystical eagle feather before a talisman can be secured. There are five talismans and five eagle feathers that must be found as your quest unfolds. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that made a lot more sense to me now than it did as a little kid. Because as a little kid, I had no clue what the fuck she was talking about. But 
And now I know why I couldn't finish levels either, because this is one of those games where if you've ever played like Hexen and stuff, like this is in the wake of, oh, he comes back, that's right. Ah! This is one of those games where you like end up going through portals and going into like, you can go into levels and come back into the levels once you've unlocked like new abilities and stuff. And that's one concept that I did not understand as a kid. Like even playing Hexen, I had to, you know, cheat. <laughs> but, oh, 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 can you move? Man, this game is a lot easier than I remember. I'm also a lot better at video games in general, but, oh, we're gonna go up here. <clears throat> Gotta love it. How much do I get for these? 10 each? Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're hitting a button to open a door. Oh! Tech bird, my oh. capability enabled. Oh. Oh. oh! There it is! Oh, yes! Oh, this is what I was waiting for. I. Oh. Hey, who's there? Oh! Yeah. Is one shot to the head gonna get him? Yup! Hell's fucking yeah, bitch! Okay, okay. Best sniper in any game. There is still a sniper rifle later, but oh man, this is just... Like even in Far Cry, I'm pretty sure the explosive arrows are just copying this tech bow. Pretty sure my ass, they are copying this tech bow because this, this is just... Oh. Whoa. I think you got this? Oh man! I'm the best! Shit, man! Where? Jeez! E Ugh. Oh, I'm not the best anymore. Huh. What? Why are they going up and left? Oh, I see. I got a hole. Oh, okay. There we go, right in the dick. Oh, don't you love that sound? Don't don't you just love it? So this thing right here, I'm pretty sure is... Yeah, we can't do this yet. This is where we need the eagle feather, and then we go into the portal area and get the item that lets us, like, it throws us across to grab that. And I think, I think, but I'm not exactly sure, that those are keys to get to the last boss. Which, by the way, whenever I keep saying Primogen, that's pretty much what the last boss is, so... Well, anyways, it looks like... Ugh. Oh! Oh! Up! Oh. Bang! Oh! Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Hey. Oh, fuck. Well, now I'm gonna have to go back up there. Anyway... I think I'm going to have to call it here because I think we've gone over the 15-man mark. I hope we're still good. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it here for you guys. I'll be uploading a lot of episodes of this. I'm not done with my other Let's Plays, though. So, if that's what you're more interested in, don't worry. Anyways, sayonara and stay epic!